Hello and welcome to Arca. We are here at Iowa this time, and um, I am on a new internet connection as well. And uh, it's an internet connection that is a little bit spotty. Uh, I actually moved the locations, so I did a, a couple unofficial races, uh, three of them, to keep an eye on my internet and make sure it's doing okay. And uh, I haven't been disconnected yet, which is good, but every once in a while it's kind of, you know, getting sketchy. So I'm hoping I will be okay, but uh, Your exit looks clear. hey, it's gotta gotta line. do what you Three gotta do. To I would really like to time. race, so even if the internet's not great, I'm gonna try to get out there. Um, of course, if I start blinking like crazy, I'm gonna have to pull over. But working with what I got here. Ooh, what I got is a little bit of a green, green, green. race car. Okay, Let's fight that. Try to get lap. ourselves a good lap here. Like that high line one and two, and then low line three and four. That's what I found worked best in practice. Left. Although that was kind of not great. Felt slicker than I expected. You're in pole. So let's see if we can do anything better right now. I think that first lap was going to be my better lap anyway, but, but yeah, <laughs> kind of lost the handle on it a little bit, but 23.5 uh, is not too bad. Chicken flag, uh, chicken flag. See, I was actually paying attention to the track temps because, from what I understand, they've actually started making them vary for fixed races now, which is pretty awesome, uh, so you might not get the same experience uh, in terms of track feel compared to somebody else. So that's very interesting. I think I might have needed to go bottom both laps, to be honest, because I watched the guy that just got pole in practice, and uh, he did it by running the bottom. So maybe not top side one and two. But I didn't practice that, so I didn't want to just try to pull that out of my hat. But uh, yeah, I I checked, uh, I've been looking at the temperatures, the, the temperature in practice was warmer than it was here, so I was thinking like, oh, maybe I can drive a little harder, there'll be a little bit more grip out there, but it felt like there was less grip. So now I'm wondering if, when I checked the track temp on entry to the server, if it changed for qualifying, and uh, kind of pulled the old Houdini on me and changed it up at the last second. It did. <laughs> it's 96 now. Which is higher. I was when I got into the server, it was 89. So, gonna have to pay more attention to that. I could have been more ready for it to be slick. Um. Yeah, it was like 89 in uh, when I joined the server, and it was like 90, low 90s, I think, in the practice session I was doing. So 96 is hotter than it has been. We've got light winds, probably not gonna affect us too much. Really like this new weather tab that puts everything in one place for us. Look at little Iowa sitting in the gray void. How nice. <laughs> so we are the number one car here today. You know what? I also forgot to change my brake bias in car. I don't think that affected anything, but I'm going to try to remember to do that once I get back in car. Get it down to 57. Oh, thank goodness. We're P3. <laughs> so we've been drafted to P3. I would much rather start on the inside rather than uh, outside front row. P3. And uh, that is where we're going to be, so. Don't really recognize too many people in here, but Rob is in here. Um, said good luck to him. Uh, recognize him and uh, wish him good luck in the race. He'll start P7, looks like. Solid starting spot. And uh, I don't remember if I said it or not. 2.6k strength of field. It'll tell you here again in a second anyway. But not too bad, despite me being the number one car, unfortunately. It is a midday race here on a Thursday. Like I said, I was kind of, uh, I wanted to race earlier in the week, but I was afraid I was going to look like what that guy's doing right now in the two car, the sponsor me, doing a little bit of blinking. And uh, I might, so I'm going to have to keep an eye up here at my internet. Hoping that uh, it'll be okay. 
Look at that qualifying run for the 21. That's a very nice one. Yeah, the uh, P4 guy, guy I was just talking about. Talking about uh, guy blinking there. Looks like it might be settling down, though. Hopefully it will be all ready to go for the race. And uh, we'll see what we get out here. I think I'm going to want to try to be aggressive early, because Iowa tends to be very difficult to pass here in the ARCA car. But I think maybe the higher temperature might help. So I don't think we can see track temp out here, but you got you see it's going from 69 to 70, and we already saw it was in the mid to high 90s. So it could potentially only just get hotter, which means slicker racetrack, which means looser race car, which means yeah, less tight car, conditions, right, which means maybe not as bad try to pass. Theoretically. We'll see about that. But hopefully we can survive. It, it can definitely be very tense racing here at Iowa. Very close racing, especially with this combo. Sometimes slide jobs end up being the only realistic way to pass. I'm hoping I can survive all that nonsense. And I hopefully not run into anybody if I have to do it myself. It's looking like a first gear start. Seems like I can floor it pretty good from first gear. Hopefully that's not a mistake. I guess I better test it with the slightly curved front stretch as well. So I'm not surprised by anything. Yeah, it feels fine. So we'll do a first gear start. And hopefully get ourselves a nice jump behind the five. One left to green. And we'll do some, uh, we'll do 45 laps here. Should be enough for tire wear to matter to some degree. So we, what I want to do is try to be a little aggressive, try to get some track position, but any chance I get, take it a little easier and try to protect the right front as well. Just being smart about when I'm pushing and when I can uh, instead conserve through the corner a little bit better. Watching my uh, internet stats on the top right, so far so good. Not seeing anything, so let's hope it stays that way. Get ready, going green. Be ready. Ice car is off, be ready. That's pretty early. Green flag, green flag. Ooh, almost missed a shift there. Did not expect, I think it was second gear, to be that short. Could be the pretty loose here the early. There's that guy blinking. No idea what actually happened to him. Car inside. Keep high. Clear. I think the three's got the same idea I do as trying to be aggressive early. Inside. I really wish that guy was not blinking, it's very distracting. Clear inside. The guy behind has just done a 23.7. The car inside. Clear inside. No idea where exactly he is, I just have to guess. That's frustrating, but what you're gonna inside. do, it's probably gonna be me in a couple laps anyway. Still there, inside. Alright, Colton, the next car is Martin. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. We're going for it, I think everybody knows passing's probably gonna be tough later. Outside. Still there. Keep low. Clear outside. Ah, he's got it. I'm not gonna fight him now. We got a second behind us, so now I think I'm gonna go into tire save and see what I can do. These guys are too fast for me. 
I think battling them is going to result in no positions gained and a lot of right front tire wear. So, going to pivot now. Got room behind us. Now to protect for the long run. Which means low line and a lot of brake on entry. Did remember to put my brake bias to the back, so that's good. But I will be watching uh, that gap behind us. So I don't want to lose any extra spots. I will say that. And I can see he's catching up. So I'm hoping that uh, our tires can start to matter a little bit but before he gets here. And I don't have to pick up my pace. But he's gaining pretty quick. See the leaders getting pretty close to that wall out there, and I don't know what the two's actually doing. It looks like he's hitting the wall, but who knows? They're fighting for the lead. We've moved from half a second back to 0.6 back behind us without having to actually push anymore. That's a good sign. They're going to pull away, but I'm just going to be okay with that. That two's blinking could cause an accident, too, so I'm going to have to be ready to react in case that comes to pass. That was a 24.2. Tiny baby tap of the wall, not even a 0x, but probably don't need to be cutting it that close. Eighteen is approaching. Might have to pick up my pace a little bit. The car ahead is airy. Yeah, he's catching up. Get a good run off the high side here. Can't get that gap back a little bit. All right, back to point four for now. Just gonna manage that gap, and then we'll see if we can do anything about those three guys in front of us. They're battling really hard, so I'm hoping that their tires are fall off bad. But, no guarantees. And even if they do fall off bad, am I going to be able to pass them? Good question. I'm going to be able to pass them if they do yeah, that. That's one way to pass them. What do you think you're doing, dude? Huh. Inside. Well, that makes my life a lot easier. Okay. I guess I'm glad I wasn't part of that battle. Suddenly we've got a lot of fresh air and open prairie in front of us. Okay, you are the leader. But the goal stays the same. We're gonna watch that gap behind us. When we've got room, we will take it easy through the corner. And if they start approaching, we'll try to maintain or increase that gap. I think the fives probably got some damage. So even though he was faster than me, he may or may not be able to actually catch back up. We will see what happens there. Plus, I have to assume that with them racing as hard as they were early... This tire wear could be worse. The two also involved in that. He's blinking enough, he might have just ghosted right through it and avoided any damage though. There's a potential that's the truth. With how hard they were racing, that wasn't 
the least likely outcome. Can't understand the word just there, dude. Dude, you're all over the fucking place. Still blanking the two is, it sounds like. Thankfully, I'm still looking okay. I can't watch the, my internet the whole time, but it hasn't caught my eye out of, out of my peripheral yet. Usually it will if it starts flashing orange or red. Two has been able to gain back a little bit on us. I do see that. Didn't work out okay for me. So we're going to keep running this bottom line, even though I think I could probably run faster higher up the track. You're leading. So far, so good. Be interesting to see how that wreck started. I didn't see exactly what happened. But like I said, they were racing really close, just like I predicted we'd probably see here at Iowa with, with this combo. And with the two and his connection the way it is, wouldn't be surprised if they actually didn't hit at all, but a car got pulled one direction or another because of net code and uh, the rest is history, as they say. Thank you. That's what I'm looking for. Consistency right now. The two's catching up, though. We might have to run the high line here for a lap or two. You can't park there. Uh, can't park there. That sounds like bad news. Are we going to get a slow car down low or something here in a second? There is one. I didn't get a call about it. Be careful with some sort of wreck. You're halfway home. Your fuel is fine. You've just done a 24.5. Two is catching. He must not have very much damage. So we're going to have to maintain that. That lap time was 24.5. Point three back there. Kind of doing low one and two, high three and four right now. Got a nice one second gap behind him to the 18, who's having a great run. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll look at the replay. I haven't looked yet, but... Uh-oh. Uh, um, Rob got was now. caught in it somehow. That sucks. No, I'm not going to do that. I just typed something frustrating. But uh, I think we just kind of got locked together. So, anyway, I'll, I'll be around after if you want to take a look at the replay. So, but, yeah, no big deal. We're over halfway. Not breathing easy right now, though, with the two right there. I've got to keep on it. He's given me a run for my money. I think he's probably better, but his, uh, the accident, losing a little bunch of time, plus some potential damage he might have from it, might be playing a difference maker here. Your lock time was 24.6. How does it feel so bad? A little looser on exits, a little tighter on entry, but nothing egregious by any means. Definitely manageable. I'm feeling pretty good about how I've been able to maintain my handling with my car. The so 2 has fallen back to half a second now, so I think I'm going to start running bottom both sides that. now. I mean, heck, the uh, pole sitter in practice was running bottom on both ends of the track, so maybe that's the way to go anyway to be fast. I mean, who knows? I don't think it would work necessarily for me, and maybe at this point in the race, high line's faster anyway, but I thought that was interesting. I definitely would have thought that uh, high, high seam line 
in 1 and 2, getting their huge runoff there would be better. What I would like is to be able to maintain my car, hopefully the guy behind falls off and is not able to be right behind me near the end of this race. I would like to avoid any potential Hail Mary dive bomb slide jobs <laughs> late in the race, if I could. That sounds like a variable I do not want to test. That last lap was a 24.7. Kind of trying to to make it so that my car is the faster car on lap 44 and 45. It would have been interesting to see if my tire saving strategy would have paid off with that group in front of us had they kept it clean. No idea if my extra speed would have mattered or not. I might have been able to catch them and not be able to pass. But right now seems to be doing a pretty good job in comparison to the two. I think we probably have better tires than he does at the moment, unless he's backing off right now. To make a run later, which is possible. Got 11 to go. Okay, Colton. That's good consistency. Keep it up. That, that was a 24.8. This is one of those tracks that hurts your hands. One of those short tracks, I guess, where it can be pretty loose handling. So you gotta, like, rip the wheel and fight it a little bit. Do some counter steer. Ten to go. This time by. When you gotta get a little sweaty <laughs> and really be on the wheel. Point seven right now, though, feeling pretty good about what we've got going for us. You know, it's not so hard to pass at Iowa whenever uh, they all just wreck in front of you. It makes that whole issue a lot less of a problem. In the past, I have like that not been too favorable for this combo just because it feels like the low power of the Arca car and just maybe the settings that we were given in the past just felt like there's nothing you can do if you've got a slower car in front of you just so impossible unless you're going to make a crazy slide job and even then it might not be too feasible. Your lap time was 24.6. But with the uh, track changing, even in fixed series now, the temperatures fluctuating and all that, Which I think is a really cool change. I don't think it was intended. I think it was just a byproduct of their new weather system. But I think that's great. I like that uh, if I were to run this multiple times, you might get a slightly different experience. Maybe the track is even hotter, you know, and you're really sliding around out here. Or maybe, you know, cold front comes in. And you got like 70 degrees track temp. I don't know if it goes that low. I know it goes not quite as low as you would hope, probably, but. Imagine it got like really cold out here. Five laps to go. We're in a podium position. That is technically the truth. We are in podium position. Yeah, we're actually in first spot. Now. I don't know if you realize that, but we're actually on the top step of the podium, which is even better. He's a little slow, guys. You gotta, you gotta give him a little bit of a break. I think I'm just going to keep doing this bottom line. It's working fine for me. It's not going to rip off the right front or anything. We don't really need the extra speed right now. I think we've done a good job of 
maintaining the car for the long run. Two seems like he's falling off a cliff. Again, that could be damage related to if his car's, you know, just as fast, but it's handling poorly or something. That could have affected his ability to save or, you know, drive more consistently over the course of this run. He might have been fine otherwise, but it's good news for us. So we are two to go. And we got almost two seconds to spare. Got the 18 in second place right now. Great run to him. 18 car in second place. It's going to gain more I rating than I will, even if I win this thing. Real nice work. This is the white flag lap. White flag, so one more good one. One more lap to go. Stay focused. That lap was a 24. Stay .9. focused. Don't need to push it all that hard. Behind is now 1.7. Right. Good race. You deserve that today. You won. You drive a great race. <laughs> Thanks, good race, guys. Sorry for the uh, sorry to see the trouble you guys had up the front. Oh yeah, fuck to see that new car. Hell, it's all about that. Thanks, man. Sorry for. I told you all up. You didn't catch me until lap forty. Well, when you followed up the whole field up there, so you got into the five, we all fucking got fucking fucked up behind you. Seventy-nine, eighty. I'm pretty five proud of that. Into the back. We'll report that. Cal, that's not true. That's not true at all. You did a slide job on me at the last second. I had nowhere to go. Oh, we got a disagreement over what happened. I was sliding all the way up to the fence and he drove right in the fucking back. Whoa. We're going to the wrong left. Well, you're, talking about, you're talking about 13, right? Yeah, let's let the jury decide. Hey, let's see what we think. Watching this back. First, we're going to see the 15 and... It's like Terry and yeah, getting together there. Oh, yeah, the two's going to be blinking a lot, so we'll have to skip ahead a little bit. Yeah, two kind of drifts up in front of them. Let's see here. Sorry that I did that. Like, I, you know, I'm coming up. Like, what else did you expect when I went down there? I mean, the slide job is like... I mean, it, you can use it to pass it. Like, you can't expect somebody to just risk for you to come up, do you? Like, whenever you were... Like, there was still plenty of room for both of us if you had just come down just a little bit. But, like, you chose... Yeah, he shut the door. The wall. It gave you plenty of room. I mean, we could race it out. I mean, you probably could have passed any other way. I mean, there's no reason to do that. Yeah, yeah, it's fucking woods. That's why I kind of get the track. I, I the clear you and I got on the gap. So, thinking about it a little bit, here's what I would say about it. I think the two cuts it a little too close. I think uh, that's not really necessary. I think that what's that's what the five was kind of getting at. Like, you don't really have to do that right then and there. Um, I think the two cutting it a little bit too close. Not really necessary to clear him right there on lap 13. Um, I think you can leave the lane right there, and you've got, by the end of the straightaway, you could, if you really want to, try it again, and you probably have an even better shot at it, because it looked like you had a pretty good run through there. So, I don't think the two needs to shut the door on the five right there, and I think the five thought he was going to give him the lane, and that's probably why he's not lifting out until a little late. And, uh... That happens, and then the three, unfortunately, no way around it. Three gets some a real bad piece of it. Really, only the uh, five is able to... I actually know the two actually able to get going still. So, uh, I think that was probably just unnecessary by the two. No reason to cut it that close. Didn't technically do anything wrong. Like, if this were, like... 
Heading to the line? You're sure, I guess. Heading to the checkered flag. I think you even more expect the five not to lift there, but... I mean, it's just, it seems like an unnecessarily risky move. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter whose fault it is, you're still getting wrecked. So, I think you just don't roll those dice by clearing yourself right there with it that close. I think you say, alright, didn't quite clear him. Uh, not enough to be comfortable, so I'll keep it a laying down. And then either try it again next corner or save my tires a little bit for an attempt later. I think that's the approach I would have taken. So, instead what happens... Two says, I'm gonna I'm clear, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. Five, maybe not expecting him to clear himself right there. And uh so arc car as soon as you touch bumpers, it's over. But I am not the one and only <laughs> person who can make a determination on that. There are different perspectives, but that's uh in terms of how I approach racing how I probably would have thought through that so the three's got major like engine damage I mean he's still <laughs> he's got pieces flying off of it you can see the three and five serious damage and I think uh, the five actually had more trouble later which we will also take a look at uh, 23 kind of just coming off the wall a little bit the seven didn't really give him much room to do that nothing really happened there though Five in the wall. Maybe some weird non contact there. Then entering turn one on lap 22. Rob just kind of gets on the back of him. I wonder if maybe the five didn't enter as hard. Maybe because he has some damage. Because I mean, they, they had some pretty big hits. Like, he's probably got some damage on that thing. And maybe he's not able to drive in as hard. And maybe Rob wasn't expecting that. But. Again, just <laughs> even the tiniest taps in the Arca car, it'll send someone around. Like, there's no going back. So, kind of taps them there, and then they get hooked together. Which, uh, which, which is unfortunate, because the 5 saves it. And you can see Rob just trying to cut down low. And then, I think they're probably fine right here. But it looks like there's some weird prediction code stuff going on. Like, you can see it's like pulling them to the left, and then all of a sudden they're occupying the same space and they explode which really sucks and we got a couple people caught in that one. Ooh, yeah the even the 11 coming in Ooh, just shows wrong I think he could have gone high right there but you know Arca no caution so you're not really trying to lose much time he just chooses incorrectly that stinks uh, I know Rob is a clean racer, so to see that, you know, it was an accident. Which stinks. Because they both got taken out pretty bad there. Oh, and there's that. Got some uh, airborne cars, though. That was kind of fun to watch. Moving along, we got lap 37. 20's coming off the wall a little bit far. I swear side contact's been weird lately, though. I first noticed it in the, um, the SRX. But there's been a couple of weird side contacts in this race, too. But that's it. 12 just messing around after the race. So we will get the win. All right. And uh, I will bring up the results page now for viewing that's what you do you view it there it is we had 32 i rating gain for 5766 in our 2644 strength field and see there we got no incidents we were able to avoid the mess and uh rest of your results here five unfortunately caught in that wreck after leading 13 laps and we'll get 163 championship points which is two thumbs up and uh, maybe, important, most important of all, my internet stayed intact. That actually wasn't bad at all. I didn't notice my uh, internet jumping around. So that's excellent news. That's what I was most worried about. And uh, side note, it looks like I had the fastest lap too, maybe. Oh, wait, 23581. Nah, I got him. Yeah, fastest lap too, which actually surprises me. I didn't really push at any point. 
I guess I was pushing early on, so maybe that's, yeah, lap three. But I don't think anyone was going like 100%, I, I doubt. Maybe. But either way, we've got the fastest lap, too. That's a little bonus. All right. Too bad you don't get bonus points for that, but hey, I'll take it. And uh, that will do it for this one. So with that and say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.